All right, here go another section. Notes and stuff. It's a router. I'm gonna suck the version, but whatever. Let's get started. Usually, these things are clipped on together, where you have to add a move a rubber part like this from the back, like right here and right here, right there. Blah blah blah. Don't worry, I won't be using it. If anything, I'll be taking apart. This is the router and all. I'm just gonna give the rundown, starting from the outside of what you see. Boss, keep doing that. Anyway, first of all, you got your 10 eye for this one. Ooh, anyway, you got your 10 eyes. You go one. Two and three. These are here. These are I always call it SC connectors. TP connect? Who knows? Those are Pacific connectors for a Pacific type, both antennas and wires. This is one of those twists on, as you can see here. The gold or copper prong is there. It might be Coated with copper, or coated with gold, or coated with brass, and then hit with oxide for a better conduit for a signal out. Since this is wireless, it's most likely microwave, which is radio frequency. Twist on. These are your ports. Usually on the back of it, around this area. I don't know if y'all can see it. Right here. Usually it show y'all the port settings like one, two, three, and four LAN local area network, which is the wire sections, USB 3.0, which is located in the front of it. 3.0 is a full duplex, etc. While US 3.0 is simple or half duplex, depending on what wire you use. Then there's 3.1, 4.2, blah, blah, blah. I just make my own, honestly. And then WPS, War Protection Security. Right here are the hardline ports, which is the RJ45. There's RJ11, usually mostly for phone, but like I said in my other video, the color coding depends on both of them. If you look on the inside, those pins, those pins are in a specific pattern if you didn't make it. Those patterns are the universal. You can customize your own router and stuff. But usually those patterns, which is max for this. RJ45. This is a, I think, category 5 cable. I need a category 6 and 7. I know I order it, but you know. Don't worry about the code right there. Like I said, I'm not using it. Eventually, I'll take it apart and put it back together. If you're looking at this color coding, I'm going to do a video of me making one of these. Try to make a category 7. Hopefully, I need to buy the, the head here. Buy the hats. Buy the plate. Rubber insulator I can do on my own. See that? Uh, They... Country have our own stuff. Standards here. Like I said, I don't care about standards. On the far left, you have white with white green stripes on it. Then after that is green, which is a twisted pair. And then next one is blue with blue stripes with a blue one. The next one is the white with brown stripes and a brown one. The next one is an orange one with orange one white stripes. I don't know if these are UTP or STP. Do to I have to open them? You know, U2P is untwisted shielded pairs, untwisted pairs. Whether these are shielded or not, I don't know until I get inside the wire itself. And STP is shielded twisted pairs. STP are better used, they give better signal. And they stop interference due to them being twisted with the four protection. The port go from right to left. Usually the right is the fastest going on to the left end. You want the, either the farthest or the most important right here with the less important or the closest on the last port four. 
this is the internet itself. You can tell the difference based on the color setting and that the fact that the plate around is made of something different compared to the other ones. You can't tell, but trust me, they are. This is usually the console you do to lock into the modem, right? Which I will do sometime later on today or after I wake up and whatever. The 2.0 drive, power on, power off. The power adapter, another 10 i now, before we get down to this part, which is the more complicated part, we're going to get into this. This is the heat sink. As you can see, it sits on top of the board itself, sits on top of the screw plate. So the heat can dissipate just in case it gets hotter. The heat go down. After the heat goes down, it goes out the back or through the holes around it. Usually you want that to keep it freaking hot. I'm going to have to get in here anyway because it's parts that I need. You know, the 3.01. Yeah, that's a heat sink I needed. Anyway, here we go to this one. This is the router itself, wireless. And local meaning is hardline, Ethernet, I, not just the internet. I describe what I get to electronically. Uh, problems. If you have any problem, and here's the only way to fix this is to etch it with the same composite they have put on here, which is the green stuff. Put the same marking line up. Put the same uh, components in there in the exact same manner they did it. These. Right here are LEDs. You mean light emitted diodes. When electricity electrical when the electricity passes through it and you hit a certain switch, but if you follow the lining, use the little edge lining or the path of the circuitry, you see the diode here is the farthest going all the way here to a look like a capacitor. Okay, we tell. And then, yeah, these number right here identify the route and the purpose of each. Like I said, I don't have, don't feel like going through every single bit of it. And if you close this right here. You can see how those LED line up with the outside functions. Power on the far left end. And either signal or WPS on the far right end. Then you get right here to the plate itself. This is both the fan, logic gate, a wireless cord, and a bunch of other stuff in one. I'm too lazy to take apart right now. I'll do it later. Here is the other circuitry. Like I said, follow the edge line. That's capacitors, parallel circuit, blah, blah, blah. The logic gate, which is right here. You can tell by the amount of pins they have on each side and the number being pointed towards the LED. Actually, that can go anyway. It's just that in this scenario. The way it look, you can tell is the logic control gate. I can't tell if it's an N or a it might be NOR because it's wireless and NOR is the main thing. This symbol right here usually signify the freaking, um, crap, I forgot the term. Anyway, you can identify these usually because they're uh, capacitors and resistors uh, right near the one. I can get down there for I can show y'all. And this is also next to a logic control, which is... Crap, I forgot the purpose of the sample. It's like a coil without a direct current. Uh, hey, come. Um, what is this? This is probably one in network interface cord since that go all the way right here. And then you have the internet core on the inside. 
with the ports and the drive and the oh God, and the power source. See the power input is right here. It sits next to the heatsink base right there. And then on the opposite side you have another one piece. The sticky piece stick on top of that. Coincidentally, like I said before, it's for generating heat away from the parts. If anything, this might just it might be port wireless, but mostly just a heat sink. Meaning trying to figure out where the freaking store it at. This right here is also to keep it separate from the plate itself, but also transfer heat. That's a hundred. Uh, where is it? Come on. I know you're on here somewhere. Here we go. This right here. See that big bulb? It's one of the power source inducted as well. The fact is next to excuse me, the next to the USB drive for support. Usually there should be a for this gate here, there should be a object on it to identify the, each pin because each pin can be programmed for anything. Which is another way to hack it as well. Might be that right there then. It might be this for <coughs> this logic gate or this. <coughs> hmm. Where else is it? Mac address. I'm trying to show you where the Mac address usually is located. Hold on. Is that it? The Mac address is nothing more than the frequency or organizer unique identifier with a vendor operator identifier as well. He go to, I think I can see 94 volts minus zero and CK77. Where the heck is this MAC address? This had to be on here somewhere. I think I just passed by it. Anyway, it's inside of this router. I'm gonna keep opening them up. Bye.